back, and I say back in the sense that Brian was here with Bob looking at some of your other materials the other day, and now I have the pleasure of being the host for this incredible case of quartz, which is completely different from what you were doing yes. over there because this is a non-commercial display that you have in That's the room correct. and is related to an exhibition that you're working on. So yes. how, tell us about that. So this case is just a sample of what will be on display in our gallery this coming September. And it's going to be all quartz from around the world. And what we do is, like we did with our Emerald exhibition last year, we borrow these from collectors and museums from around the world. And we put them on display in the gallery. They're not for sale. It's just an exhibition. And we produce a catalog. And we are going to try to assemble at least 10 more cases like this of the finest known quartz in the world. Uh, people come to the gallery. It's totally free. The exhibition is open to everyone. And what we're also hoping for with this exhibition is to move it possibly to the Perot Museum. They've already talked to us, and they're very interested. And then even the TGMS next year, we'd like to put on a case of these quartzes as well. I think I might have something to do with making that happen. <laughs> yes, you absolutely will. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we are, the Emerald Exhibition is now closed, but we're working again with the Perot to bring the Emerald Exhibition in August to the Perot Museum. And in fact, we have a catalog of the exhibition right here, which we produced uh, for when it was in our gallery. Mm -hmm. And this same exhibition give or take what's in here, as many collectors as are willing to uh, loan us their emeralds. Mm -hmm. We'll bring them to the Perot and it'll be on display mm -hmm. there as well. And, uh, and we're, this is, so this is something we're trying to do at least once a year uh, in the fall to do some kind of major exhibition of a, with a theme. It's mm -hmm. a curated theme, in this case quartz, in this case emerald. And uh, that's something that we look forward to doing uh, every year. Well, it sounds like I need to find my way to New York sometime in the fall. You absolutely do. We would love to have you there. Yes, yes. And we usually do an opening night. It's uh, where, uh, you know, it, for a couple of hours, people get to preview mm -hmm. it. Uh, and uh, we, we would welcome, everybody's welcome. That would be yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about, tell us about a few of the, I mean, it's impossible to pick wrong in this case. There's so many amazing things. I mean, I, I was distressed when you said nothing's for sale because that white cap from Guerrero is... <laughs> you know, perhaps lives in the wrong place and I know a better place for it to live. <laughs> but uh, why don't you tell us about uh, three or four of the pieces in here that are... Absolutely. Uh, um, sort of a little bit above the others, but it's an awfully tough call. It is a very tough call. I People have been in here all week asking me my favorite and I almost refuse to answer because it's impossible. Um, so we can open the case if you'd like and we can take a look at a few pieces. So I would say the piece that probably attracts the most attention in the case would be this. And uh, this is uh, uh, Amethyst on Quartz from uh, Georgia, uh, from the uh, Jackson Crossroads uh, mine. And this piece actually was on display, if you might remember, during the American Treasures exhibition. Yes. And it's pictured in the American Treasures book. Uh, and I think that uh, many people feel, and I think rightfully so, that this is arguably the best piece they ever found. I know that's debatable, but we sure love it. Well, the aesthetics on the piece are absolutely spectacular with the beautiful group of gumball purple amethyst sitting on that beautiful white background. Um, you'd be hard pressed to design a better specimen oh, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you were in that particular business. People think uh, it's like a flower, just an explosion oh yeah, right just, the, in the middle it, of the quartz. It's everything you want to see in a specimen. And I know that you have a particular love of Mexican minerals. And this is just a fabulous white cap from Guerrero. Mm -hmm. And it's an old piece. This is uh, formerly in Steve Schmale's collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the, the white cap pocket was back in the either the late 60s or early 70s, yes. as I remember. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, not many of them were as sharp and clean as this. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. of them had the, 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 the stage that gave you the white cap gave you a white sheath on a lot of the crystals, and uh, this one doesn't have a, any sign of that. It's just a remarkable, remarkable piece with that zoning. Yeah, this, uh, this yeah, is I'll, actually I'll pictured just... as well in Steve Schmale's book. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's one of his favorites. Um, again, one of my favorites, if there is such a thing, would be this fantastic scepter from Brandberg. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it looks like a lighthouse to me. And uh, the color is so rich and so saturated, and mm -hmm. the form is so perfect. Yeah, the, all the, the fenced faces on the side here 
remarkable growth. Um, that's a great deposit, and this is a su superlative example from the locality. And the color is wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, another so piece, I want to see that Gwendolyn. Yeah, that's a piece that really attracts a lot of attention because it is of such superb quality. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a faceted stone. Absolutely transparent, mirror, shape, mirror bright faces. And a pretty good twist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. This piece is from a degrees. very old Swiss collection, mm -hmm. and uh, they did not want to sell it, and it's been in their collection for years and years and years, and I know the collector who owns it, and it took a lot to get this piece out mm -hmm. of Switzerland. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, presumably it was in the family of the Strahler that found uh, it in it, the first I place? I believe it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I believe it was. Well, if Absolutely. I had found that, I wouldn't let it go either. <laughs> no. Even though it's not from Mexico, I would still keep it. <laughs> And actually, we do have some more Mexican pieces. We have this yes. fabulous Guerrero, too, mm -hmm. um, which I think is ex of exceptional quality. Yeah, the color on that is yeah. lovely. Yeah. Just beautiful quality. Is that one of the recent ones? No, this is from the find of about, I would guess, 15 years ago. Yes, okay. Yeah. I, I know all about that find. I was actually in Chilpancingo, which is not far from Amatitlan, oh, uh -huh. and I was working down there as a geologist, and I got word that that find had been uh -huh. made. Uh -huh. And so I got on the phone and called somebody who called Wayne Thompson, who uh -huh. immediately went down yes. and picked up the lot. That's right, and this was originally and, from Wayne, right. exactly, yes. And yes. I got a very nice single crystal uh -huh. Uh -huh. as my finder's that, fee for telling him about it. <laughs> that, yeah, that was arguably, in oh, my the, mind, the best find ever. The, the McGay yeah. that came out of that, yes, the, yes. that specimen is, that, is the amethyst. And that piece Europe. we're hoping will be in display in the gallery. That would we're be, working that on would that. Be great. Yeah, yeah. This is this I, I've always felt was the best matrix piece that came out, mm -hmm. and that was the best off matrix yeah. piece that came yeah. out easily. Yeah, and this is a fairly new piece out of Brazil, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been explaining to people when they're in the room that this is what a real citrine looks like. Mm -hmm. Whereas you walk around the shows, you see all those heated citrines. As opposed citrines. to cooked amethyst. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a true citrine, and this is what they really look like. And I've never seen actually a better one. This is from, yeah, and this is from Brazil, and it literally just came out this year. I look forward to being able to see all of them, along with the other nine cases or whatever yeah, number you managed to put we together would, with it. Uh, we would love to have you. love to have a selection of these here for Tucson next year. We will. That's something we're going to try to make happen, too. Yep. Absolutely. You know, we'll do everything we can from our side to make that Appreciate happen. Appreciate that, Peter. You bet. Right. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.